Good morning, guys. It's a great work morning. Um, a lot of stuff fell into place this morning for my job, real estate. Um, so it's a super good morning. And I've just been, I've been literally working all morning. I think it's like 10.30 now. So I am um, about to sit down, edit a vlog. I wanna make some coffee. I have groceries ordered right now. I'm waiting on groceries to get delivered for the trip this weekend. Um, today I'm kind of trying to get the house together and just like organized and get like last minute laundry done and stuff. And I'm gonna make a couple of good winter meals today so that I can freeze it like um, chili. So I can freeze it and bring it on the trip this weekend. So I've got to get that stuff done. So yeah, just really prepping, getting all types of work done so that I can relax this weekend on the trip. I mean, I'll still be working, but um, I just want to have a lot of stuff done for the trip. So I'm going to go make some coffee. All right, groceries got here before I could make a coffee. So I'm going to make a coffee in a second, but I'm going to show you my grocery haul because I got a lot of stuff and I got some fun stuff for the trip. So rolls for sandwiches, lettuce for salads and taco bowls. Got some snacks for the road trip. These are so good and fattening. And then some snacks for the road trip and the cabin. This is all meat for chili and stuff. You guys, I got s'mores for the fires. We have fireplaces inside and outside of the cabin. So chocolate, graham cracker bunch of beans and sauce and stuff and tomatoes for the chili, um, spaghetti sauce, spaghetti, I mean spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. I got some creamer to take, um, I got bagels, I put them in the freezer downstairs for the trip, but I got cream cheese, pico for taco bowls. I got this pancake mix, which is like, it just needs water or milk. So that's a lot easier to make um, for the cabin syrup for that. And I got a bunch of pepperoni, um, salami, cheese, cause we're gonna do like a charcuterie. It's like an easy lunch for the trip while we're there. Um, this is also for charcuterie. And I got green beans for dinner, asparagus for dinner. This is for the chilies and I put some of this in Wyra's food so she will eat it. And then some biscuits for the freezer, some quick salad kits for the cabin. And these are also really easy for breakfast for the cabin, um, frittatas. So that's the majority of it, but most excited for s'mores. So are you helping? That doesn't look like you're helping. That looks like you're trying to eat. Googie Dad. So yeah, I'm gonna put all this away and make a coffee. Alright, made my coffee. second coffee much needed and I'm getting um I still need to finish putting away groceries but I'm getting all of these Christmas those are those are being mailed out this is being mailed out like all this stuff has to be mailed um to people for family that aren't families that family that isn't here for Christmas I'm mailing them stuff so so yeah I'm gonna finish getting some stuff done and then I have a little charlotte tilbury haul for you guys um so i'll show you that as soon as i'm done with this all right i have approximately four minutes of quiet time probably from the contractors but i wanted to show you this box of charlotte tilbury that i got in the mail um it has a lot of stuff in here so i am so excited so charlotte tilbury is like I love their products, but she's a little expensive. So 
I don't venture out and try new products that I want to in case I don't like it because then it's expensive. Um, but like her setting powders and stuff, I love and I purchase them over and over again because they're the best. So I don't mind spending money on stuff that I know I love, but there's some new stuff to try. So I'm excited about this, the Magic Foundation. Um, and I think this is like a glowy foundation. So I got that. There's a bunch of eyeshadow quads in here. So the first one is the Golden Goddess, I think. Yeah, this was my favorite one to try. These colors are so pretty. Really easy to use, like simple colors, easy to use. The next one is the Vintage Vamp. This one's like super holiday, burgundy, mauve, really pretty for the holidays. I think I'm gonna take some of these on our trip because they're so small and like holiday vibes. So I'm excited for that. The next one is Walk of No Shame. I feel like this is one of her like normal. Oh, this is super pretty for holidays too. Like pinky red tones so those are the eyeshadows okay the next thing I got literally the most excited for is the film star bronze and glow palette first of all this packaging 12 out of 10 I have been wanting to try this for so long but did not want to spend the probably hundred dollars on it so it comes with oh my gosh this packaging you guys comes with the bronze and glow which I'm sure you guys have seen um, highlighter and bronzer this is like a really good contour color for me and then I've heard such good things about this highlight it like goes with everything it's not too gold not too silver not too pink so literally you guys this packaging like I cannot um, and then this also came with a little brush as well so I'm gonna definitely be taking this on our trip the next thing I got is the pillow talk cheek to chic blush this is the darker shade of the blushes um, but I don't have a color like this at all so I'm really excited about this it's a little darker Oh, this package came with a little mascara trial thing the pillow talk push-up mascara and then also the magic eye rescue trial and then the other stuff is lip products so I got a lip cheat lip liner in pillow talk medium I have the regular pillow talk um, but I got the medium shade and then I also got the matte revolution lipstick in the shade very victoria her packaging seriously is like I feel so bougie with this in my purse this gold oh yeah that's a such a good winter like holiday color kind of neutral but like a little bit of a red tint a little darker and then the last, the last thing I got is the Hot Lips lipstick. This is so cute. In the shade Glowing Gen. You guys, this packaging, like this is probably what you're paying for is the packaging, which I am not mad about. This color is a little bit more red. So this kind of reminds me of Pillow Talk. But, so that's everything I got. Got quite a few things. Um, so, I'm going to put all this stuff away. And then I've got to start on the chili for tonight. Because we're going to eat it tonight. Which is Tuesday. And then I'm going to put it in the freezer so that we can take it on the cabin trip. Because I just like having meals like ready for lunch or dinner if we don't feel like going to find something. Because again, we're on a mountain. And, you know, slim pickings out there. So, going to start the chili 
Oh, anyways, I was saying we're gonna eat it tonight and then I'm gonna freeze it and put it in a cooler and take to the cabin with us. So it'll be like, you know, a week and then we'll eat it there too. So I'm a planner. I just like planning things out and not having to like try and scavenge while we're there. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and I'll see you when I start making chili. All right, the first chili I'm making is the chicken enchilada chili. I've got the beans, tomatoes, black beans, and all the sauces in here, and some chicken broth. Um, I'm gonna add some onion, shred all the chicken and put it in here, and add some jalapenos and the corn and heavy whipping cream. It's gonna be so good. And then I'm also gonna start on a regular beef chili as well to take. All right, got everything in here for, this is the chicken chili chicken enchilada chili. It's got to cook, simmer for an hour. And then I've got regular chili for Mike for the trip. Cause he just likes regular plain chili with no veggies. So I've got that going. I am uploading today's vlog for you guys. The vlog you guys will see today. And I'm gonna sit down for a few minutes cause it's 3.30 and I have not sat down one time today. So gonna chill out, watch some Vlogmas, maybe read some, but. Are you helping mom cook? That's so nice. That's so nice of you. Are you helping mom cook? That's the nicest Doberman. All right, see you guys in a little bit. 